Section 8.6, Resonance Structures. Resonance me is, comes from the verb resound, which is like a bell where, where you've got a vibration of a circle where it pinches in one direction and then goes back and then pinches in the other direction. So it would pinch like top bottom pinch and then it goes back and then the two sides pinch in. That's what resounding is. So resonance structure has this idea that there is more than one structure that it tends to go back and forth between. Uh, I'll try to explain. If you were to, to have any compound with a double bond, where you have a double bond and a single bond, here's an example. This is ozone. O3 is ozone. And if you draw the Lewis structures of ozone so that everything has six electrons in its outer shell but, but needs an octet, and you give it an octet, the only way you can draw it is with a single bond on one of the oxygens and a double bond on the other. So this, this would meet the Lewis structures, it would meet, uh, meet the octet rule, everything's fine. The only problem is that when you actually look at this molecule, the two bonds are exactly the same length. They're not one longer than the other. Remember that a single bond is usually longer than a double bond, and a double bond is um, longer than a, than a triple bond. So the, the more sharing of electrons, the tighter that those two atoms are together. Well, the only way to describe this, if, if the Lewis structure on the right is good, but yet the, the, the data tells you that the, the bonds are the same, then the only way to explain that is with something called a resonance structure. A resonance structure are two forms, in this case two forms, because there's only two bonds here. Um, in other cases, three forms or more forms, so that they're kind of going back and forth between each other. So if you can see that I'm sharing two pairs of electrons over here, one pair of electrons here. But on this side, I'm sharing two pairs on the left and one pair on the right. So instead of exact, the idea that you're going flipping back and forth between one and another, what's actually happening is that your electrons are moving from here to here. So your electrons are kind of delocalized in between those two oxygens, and they're flipping over here. And once they're over here, now I have two bonds on this side, and then they flip back, and then I have two bonds on the other side. So it's, it's like an average between two possibilities. Rather than a long bond and a short bond, it's kind of like a movie where that it's going back and forth and you're getting, you're getting the same uh, length, bond length on both sides. So the way you do a multi, uh, the way you show a resonance structure is you uh, have a, a double-headed arrow that's showing you that it's not one or the other, it's both. It's actually both at the same time, and the electrons are, are, are able to move. The analogy given is that just like blue paint and yellow paint together gives you no longer blue or yellow but green, it has its own identity. It's a mixture of both that a, a, a resonance structure is the same. A resonance structure is not one Lewis structure or the other or even a going back and forth between one and another, but it's its own thing caused by a blending of the two. So it's it's like it's both. So to, to the two resonance structures that would describe ozone together describe ozone not one or the other, or a flip between the two, but the average of the two, a synthesis of the two, would describe it. So, localize means that the electrons are in between these guys, okay, and this would be localized. Delocalize means that this is free to move. I can push those here, and then suddenly I've got them back and forth and back and forth, and the electrons are moving, and as the electrons are moving, it is a blend of the two. So it's, it's not one extreme or the other, but it is a mixture between the two, and that's what's a resonance structure. It, that's the idea of resounding, just like a bell resounds when it rings. Then they give you an example, a uh, perfect example of, of this is benzene. 
each of these, uh, this is called an aromatic ring. It's, a, it's an organic uh, chemistry ring. This, these are all carbons, and there's a hydrogen attached, okay, here. And what will happen is in between every other one, you're going to get a double bond. But the double bond could be like if you were to number these one, two, three, four, five, six, the double bonds on the right is two, four, and six. The double bonds on the left is one, three, and five. So they're simply in different places. So instead of them, it's not like it's turning back and forth. It's that the electrons are flipping back and forth and actually acting like an average between them. So the shorthand version of, of benzene is not the long where you have to draw the two plus the arrow, but they just draw a hexagon here and a circle on the inside, and that's showing that it's an average between the two forms of the, of the double bond forms. It's just it's called a benzene ring.